Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology Group. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to add new project properties in your enterprise planning and budgeting project financial module. As you know, enterprise planning and budgeting application is a driver-based planning and therefore it gives you options and liberty to modify application properties and and various calculation based on the properties you define so before we add new project property i'll take you to my requirement and explain you how do you receive the requirement from the client and and how you need to make the required changes in your project financial planning modules so this is one of my requirement sheet uh, in this requirement sheet, I need to assess risk management metrics for my project. So the project has project name, project manager, project artifacts and other detailed project IDs. All this information somehow related to your project financial planning. So these are all metadata or data elements to be mapped up with your application. So we have what kind of risk associated with the project project probabilities probabilities and this project probability is going to be my project properties and there are certain value associated with this as you see or if you can measure it in terms of number one to five or in terms of percentage in addition to this there are other properties like project impact detectability and importance so we wanted this project property to be used and we wanted our project to be assessed based upon these properties and project has project categories trigger risk response description contingency plan and ownership so because these properties do not exist in my application in a default application therefore we need to modify them so when you log into your project financial planning module and once you configure well, if you have not configured project financial planning module, please do watch my previous video where I taught you how to configure project financial planning module. And there you find an icon called project. And when you click on this, you see all the data elements. Uh, when you click on this, one of the category, you get further information about it. For example, I click on project summary and therefore I get all the information about it so the project property I just now shown you does not exist in my application as of now therefore I need to modify my application and add the required properties on the project detail you can see various project properties when you scroll down so there are various properties you see they appear as my column header is a project properties I want to add my project over here or use existing project and evaluate my project measure my project based upon the properties the one I shown you so unlike in your planning application in enterprise planning budgeting cloud module the configuration of planning application can be changed from configuration panel to connect to your application and open your configuration panel from there, from there you select your application, project financial planning module, and and then you pick up the configuration parameter as project properties. When I make modification of project properties, what underlying dimension are going to be impacted? So I open one more instance. Once I add new project property the one the dimension called account which maintain project property would have this new value so actually project property is considered to be measurable you measure it and therefore it is an account it's not a text so select your queue project financial planning select your dimension and under this you have project properties project properties assumptions there are different properties and rates so we can 
actually search the property which you want to add it will be under form so i'll show you where does it ex exactly exist once we create this you can take the new project properties and search where it get gets created it is under project properties on data form under project assumption properties on form and these all are custom property so when i add new property it appear under this dimension and finally the data form which gets modified or get impacted it's called project detail there you can see newly created property appear so let's get started in order to add new properties first capture a requirement so from my data input sheet which generally you get from business i know these are the four measurable property which i need to use i'll take first property called probability so probability is assessed in terms of number or you can assess in terms of percentage in this example i'm assessing in terms of numbers so we assume project property fall in between 1 to 5 if you need to add individual property you can modify directly from here alternatively alternatively you can add them as job so add i will more precise project property and you can give an alias called project property and time balance properties and data storage property you set as per your requirement i keep them as flow so it will accumulate under one project category if you have multiple project you can accumulate probability of your project or maybe you can take an average of the project probability of success so under parent it is going to roll it up so as i modify my application structure or modify my metadata we suppose to refresh our queue in order to get this new dimension member available into my application so refresh your database refresh take place maybe take 30 40 second so i refresh database and wait for the refresh process to get completed so let it go on we'll wait once it is done perfect this is done your cube got refresh newly created project property can be seen under your dimension probably need to refresh it so go to home page and open it again another easy way of getting it refresh go to your dimension there's a developer view dimension and under this dimension select project financial project financial planning account the dimension and the member which we added just now available under as properties project assumption project properties properties on form custom properties and there you have newly created member called project probability so at least you know behind the screen when you make some changes where your newly created member gets added and once you modify or the member gets added you can see the newly created member would be visible in your data form so the data form you can go this is going to impact your data form called project properties so go to your home page again go to your application sorry your data form or you may directly go to your if you know the data form name just select data form name alternative alternatively you can go from your dashboard project financial planning project summary and under project summary you have a project details and there you can see to which project which property map to 
there are five project what is the project probability associated with the individual project you can as check or you can if you look at the parent level you can see the cumulative property across all the project within a given project or an average so what once you add new member what underlying dimension gets modified and where it impact your dimension in the data form we have seen this so as per your new project requirement as per your requirement you can add more properties and further you can evaluate or assess them project by different properties so that's it for today please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos across different epm solution thank you and have a good day